with the rise of persistence, dogs, and katanas, I decided I wasn't gonna play any more respawns. So this is my journey from rookie to legendary, only playing Search and Destroy. Of course, technically, Search and Destroy isn't available for play unless you're elite. So I ranked my account up to level 10, went through rookie and the veteran ranks so that you guys will be able to see just the Search and Destroy journey. I was kind of messing around, so my KD was low. And also, I lost one game before I got elite. I don't want to talk about it. Diving into the first game, I was feeling splendid as I knew that I would be able to experience Call of Duty Mobile once more with like that dreaded perk and the damned dog. So instead of holding back, I decided to rush everyone. However, if you want to play safe, check out NordVPN. Being the leader in its field, Nord offers you easy, safe access to the internet without the compromise of being monitored. They've recently released new threat protection modes where you can check websites or files to see if they might damage your device. However, I use it to get beta access to games early. Like Apex Legends Mobile. A quick swipe and tap onto the Mexico server and I can play on the fastest speeds and enjoy gaming to the highest level. If you're interested in staying safe or playing games early, make sure to use my link at the top of the description down below as you can get a two year plan with a huge discount. Also one additional month, Great. Trust me, I only take sponsorships from things I actually use. Enjoying my time with the CBR and Mac 10 was making me wonder just why I stopped playing Search and Destroy in the first place. Of course, I was only elite ranked, so it's not like the players I was against were any good, but it was definitely refreshing, other than my device crashing every so often. But we stormed our way into Pro League, and this is where things started to get interesting. Well, maybe not in Hacienda or Coastal. I'm not a fan of those maps. Icebreaker, however, was definitely a unique experience I did not expect to play for search and destroy and for some reason people feel the need to call out my alt accounts for aimbot every time i play against them this is probably the reason why i get banned so much on all of my separate accounts and can never complete one of these videos managing to scrape my way past pro into master i still hadn't lost a game in snd and with some very nice kills we kept the momentum going into the first match of master however by this point i felt like i needed to change how i played so i swapped some perks out as before, I wasn't even using Dead Silence, and I was using Vulture for absolutely no reason. My plan for this particular challenge was to play it all day and try and get it done in one session. So towards the middle of Master, I couldn't find any games because it was 4 a.m. And after some nutty aces and cracked out clutches, I took a short two-hour break and came back like I'd never left. While my SD skill set was quickly improving, I, of course, was going against better and better opponents, meaning that I couldn't just 5 0 my way through the competition by rushing. I had to hold angles, play the timer, and tactically move my way through the map. Sometimes working out and sometimes not. What the f? As I approached Grandmaster, I was feeling powerful, to say the least. With 4 0 on the scoreboard, all we needed was one round. And it happened to be the easiest round of the entire game. But you know what's not easy? Doing these challenges without getting banned. As straight after that game, as I ranked up the Grandmaster, my account was wiped from COD Mobile. Every single time I try to make a damn video on this game, I get my account banned. And this was no different. However, this time, I could wait it out for the six days and finish off this challenge. As I waited, twiddling my thumbs, I ate a whole lot of fast food, started the Koshka challenge, and also got to go to Ferrari's 75th anniversary open day, where I seen some insane cars. Maybe COD Mobile will add them into the game. Upon return to ranked, I was feeling good. Even opting for a more aggressive approach, getting clutches by myself, aces to control the pace of the map, and more kills than my entire team and the entire opposing team combined. Let's just say not having to deal with your boy was making things very enjoyable. Rising through the Grandmaster ranks one, two, three, and four, it was only a matter of time until I completed this challenge and we could check out the stats. Five O's, five ones, and just dominating performances brought me just below Grandmaster five, where at the end of this Tunisia game, I got a notification on my screen again. Another ban. I got to play a total of one hour, 30 minutes before they ban me again. So we'll see you again when I I can play once more. As I waited for my ban to run out so that I could complete this challenge, I realized that my time in Search and Destroy had been much more peaceful than Domination or Hardpoint. And I actually really did enjoy playing that round based mode with the crazy aces like this one or the insane clutches. 
it felt like something different simply because I never really play SD. But then finally, days after my second ban, I was able to play once more. And since there were very few ranks left, I ended up just rushing everyone, which at the start played off terribly. I lost three games in a row. And before that, I had only lost one or two games total. Let's just say the iPad was not feeling it. Ah, they're so but after I got back into the flow of things, we started picking up right where we left off. And I started going on massive tears. Right into Grandmaster 5, we only need to get through this rank to finally complete this mission. Technically, I actually got the Rookie to Legendary with the Koshka done first because I got banned so many times on this account. Grandmaster 5 was a breeze and we eventually hit our goal. If you're having trouble with the respawning rank, I would definitely recommend trying out some Search and Destroy. Subscribe!